Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at using um, stock box section or angle iron to build domes. It's something that, I'm, uh, that people ask me quite a lot. Um, can I make it using angle iron box section or any of the other standard manufactured lengths of uh, metal, uh, aluminium uh, extrusions and all that sort of stuff? Uh, can you do it? Uh, and... There's a, it, it sort of can. Uh, the first answer is, it, I would say, is probably not really a uh, box section. Uh, box section um, is the worst, I think. You could use um, the hub and strut method, but again, you would have issues with the void in the centre here. I'll link to the video about uh, box and box, uh, not box section, uh, hub and strut, uh, and the other one which is uh, arrowhead because technically speaking those would suit a box section other than those two which are, are two methods I don't recommend doing to be honest uh, you can't use a uh, box section so let's move on to angle iron oh I'll just nip back to this one first for a second um, <clears throat> you can see on a 50 millimeter box section if uh, this is would this would be this a standard three frequency dome, you end up with a twelve millimeter gap at the top, um, and you would need to put a bolt all the way through here. So what would happen is that this this would crush in, and that would crush in, and this would want to close. So you, maybe you know if you put um, let's get the pen out. If you put something, I don't think you could do. Uh, you possibly could do it with metal. If you welded. Here we go. If you welded a metal tab in at several places down down there, you could probably make this work. I still wouldn't recommend it. You know, like put it put a um, slot that wedge into there to hold that apart. Um, you could it could make it work actually, uh, but again you've got when you try and put your surface material on, a very common mistake when designing domes or building your own DIY domes is that people think um, that they think about the frame first and they don't really think about the cover till after. And really you have to think when you're designing at this stage here how am I going to build this about how am I going to fit the cover uh, and will it work. Uh, right, if we used angle iron, standard section 90 degree angle iron, but we use the smallest possible size. Uh, the, the size we need is something where we, could, we can just get a bolt in. Uh, you don't want this bolt hole too close to this end, um, and you don't want uh, too thick a material here. You could probably get away with 3, mil three millimeters, 4 is pushing it. Uh, you still have a gap, um, let me just take this apart, I'll just remove this for you. Right, if we take that out, that that's a self, represents a self-tapping screw. On a 12mm angle line, which is quite tiny, the angle of a 3 frequency dome would give you a 3mm gap. So with that gap, You'd have the same problem as anything bigger. When you put this ball in, it's going to want to squeeze this, and it'll deform your structure. So if you put if you put a self tapping screw as high as you can, so you have to drill the hole as close to this edge as possible. Actually, my self tapping screw is the wrong size. I'll just no, I've just messed that up. Yeah, hold on, give it a second. There you go. Let's just put the put a bigger self tapping screw in. That's the answer. Put the self tapping screw in there as high as you can go, so it touches the other side at the angle of a three frequency. So what that does, this head, the head of this screw stops these two pieces of metals um, squeezing together. And what you do is you put self tappers all the way down this side. Let me. I wonder if I can make this look three D. Yeah, I can. Like that, you'd put a, one in there, one in here, one there, and then you'd put them on the other side as well in the middle of it, and then you can put your bolts in. And what that does is, 
it stops them squeezing together but you still have this gap obviously here to fill up but it's only three millimeter uh, let's assume you're going to glaze it so we'd uh, we we'll stick the glass on the way I use um, glass is I use a double-sided glazing tape um, just on a side note I would recommend that this was galvanized because uh, rust would be a, a, a big problem otherwise anyway uh, double-sided glazing tape stick your glass on with a gap so you still end up with about a three millimeter gap between the glass uh, and then all you would do is you would just fill the whole lot with sealant so right down into here gets filled with sealant uh, that gives you a good weatherproof joint and effectively you could make a um, greenhouse with small section angle iron uh, without too much difficulty that would be the smallest section I would use I'll get my tape measure out here now and if you look at 12 millimeters it's uh, just a tiny bit less than half an inch so that's pretty small uh, angle iron and it wouldn't be suitable for a large dome but you could push this a little bit and quite easily go up to 20 millimeter which is you're looking at about three quarters of an inch angle iron let me just look on my tape measure here. It's not big angle iron, uh, but you would be surprised how what, that you get a reasonable size structure in at that. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend using it for housing or anything like that. And in future videos, I'll take a look at um, some techniques for building houses because they're very different. But a greenhouse, you should be able to do that. But I would recommend galvanizing the metal um, and filling the gap with uh, silicon. Uh, and using glass rather than plastics because you've got, they're going to be a bit more of a problem to uh, fix to the frame. So in a limited way you can use angle iron and maybe um, somebody be, wants to give this a try. I've not tried this myself though. Okay, I've got a pre-prepared um, two frequency dome here. Now the thing with it, with using angle iron or anything with 90 degrees is the uh, lower the frequency, the bigger the gaps will be. Uh, the higher the frequency, that gap will reduce because your dihedral angle reduces as your frequency increases. So this is a worst case scenario doing a two frequency dome. Let me uh, run you through how you would, uh, the, probably the best way to test out uh, something like a new um, method for building domes is to do a drone in SketchUp. I'll just quickly run you through how to, how to do the uh, an angle iron frame on a two frequency dome. Right, this is like I say this is pre-set up um, with components and it's colour coded so this component has been repeated around the dome so anything I do with this component will uh, automatically happen on all the rest so it's a much quicker way of drawing quite handy sketch up for that right uh, so we're going to do an angle line thing what we'll do is we'll select it and we'll pull it out uh, we want to go we'll do 20 millimeters on this one and put it a reasonable size frame on this is a basically a four meter dome we'll do uh, this one next Right, what we've done is we've uh, extruded outwards, so this this will be a slightly bigger than our uh, initial shell. We've gone out instead of in, and we've ended up with this gap. But what we've got is square section. We don't want square section really. So we have to make this into a um, angle. To do that, the way I, probably the quickest way I think, or the easiest, is 
we'll go we'll, we want the thickness of the angle we'll we'll do a four mil angle on this we should be okay I've drawn a, a line on the inside edge four millimeters that's the thickness we want our angle yeah you can change it to whatever you whatever you feel useful uh, and I'll do the same here we just want to really draw a four millimeter line in then we, yeah, I think we can uh, select that push pull tool and push that out to the line and that gives us um, a 20 millimeter by four millimeter angle line and it, uh, you, you can then measure between uh, I'll just deselect that you can then measure the gap to see what kind of gap if you're going to make a fillet that's seven millimeters that is so that's probably the widest you want to go uh, you're going to use a lot of sealant if you wanted to fill that with sealant so on this size you might uh, put a fillet in um, because I think seven millimeters you're not going to get the head of a Phillips screw of a self tapping screw to, to cover a seven millimeter gap um, but if once you've covered that gap uh, and it's firm it's not going to pinch and uh, distort then there's no reason why you can't use uh, angle line to, to build a dome. I'll, f I'll um, finish this yellow panel off. Okay, I've done the uh, second frame. They're still coloured coded at the minute. Um, but I've decided that I'm not really liking this, this gap. It's too much. Uh, it's it's going to use a lot of sealant. So I think the best thing to do would be to reduce that. Uh, that's again pretty easy in SketchUp. Uh, this is a 20 mil 20 millimeter angle line, 20 by 20. Uh, so I think if we if we got a 12 mil by 20, it would still give us enough here to stick the glass to. We need that 20 really, uh, but it would reduce the gaps in that. And in SketchUp, we can um, do that and see, and then measure our gaps again to see what it's like. Let's have a quick. So we're at 20, we want to reduce it by uh, 8 millimeters, don't we? It's going to be 8 millimeters. So I'll, I'll take the inside, uh, use the push pull tool, and move that 8 millimeters. And then I'll swing to the outside, use the push pull tool again, and reduce the outside by 8 millimeters. And that'll leave the angle exactly right. Eight millimeters. There we go, and that gives us uh, a thinner section. I think we can make we can measure this to see if there's enough space for bolts. Um, but I think this works better on a tube frequency. Like I said, on a larger frequency, that gap is smaller anyway, so you won't have to worry so much. I'm going to do the other frame as well, while you, just to keep it neat. Push pull tool, bring it in eight mil, and same on the outside. Right, we'll measure the gap now. So this is a four meter diameter dome, so it's not a small one. I'll get pull a, um, get a component out, and so you can see scale on this. It's handy for scale. I mean, if you haven't got um, SketchUp, you could do this with paper. There you go. It's a four millimeter gap now. That's totally possible to fill that with sealant, and uh, you could get a head of a screw with a washer on, perhaps to to brace that so they don't want to pull together. So that's totally doable. That is at that. So yes, the answer is you can build a dome using standard angle iron. Uh, just keep it as small as possible 
on the depth of the dome. You can go big this way, no problem, but on the on the depth of the structure, keep it as small as possible and it should work no problem for you. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, like and subscribe and I'll uh, and see you on the next one.